Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to do some 3D text effects um, and changing the camera angle. So kind of like it looks like, you know, with this TV series Lost, how the Lost comes out at you and you can see it in 3D. Uh, something like that, but not as nice. So first of all, we're going to start with a new composition, Command N. And you hit OK. And I'm going to call this Creative. Okay, so composition settings, I call this creative. And next we're gonna hit Command Y to put in a background. I'm gonna use a gray background. And then what we're gonna do is put in our text effect. We can go up to here to layer, new, and text. And I'm gonna type in the word creative. And you can change uh, dimensions the way you want it and use did it that's my font name that I'm using now I'm gonna copy this did it and paste so there's two copies of it and with my second copy I'm going to move it and before I forget I'm gonna make sure I make these 3d see this little box that means it's we want to make it 3d it's gonna give us more options to be able to rotate things so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll rotate my second creativity one. Um, now if I want to do a door swinging, I could do that. But I think I'm going to do a X rotation, like it's swinging down. Let me go right like that. Okay, so I'm going to hit my stopwatch for my X rotation, and I'm going to move it out to maybe a second. And I'm going to bring it down to about there, about 92. Okay, and now if we scrub through it, you'll notice that it looks like it's peeling. Now, if I want to, I can. I should probably do a different color so you can see that it's kind of like changing color uh, with it. So I'm going to take this creative and maybe make it a green. So there we go. Looks like it's changing colors. Um, okay, now it's time for camera angle. So I'm going to go to layer, new, camera. And I'm going to keep the default settings and hit OK. And now with our camera angle, um, we're going to be able to change the camera angle to, the, to get the position that we want. Um, I'm going to get some of these attributes so we can change some of these. I'm going to hit P for position. Hold on the shift key if you want to do multiple ones. I'm going to do A for point of interest and R um, for rotation. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is hit um, I'm just going to hit all the stopwatches. Probably won't use all of them, but just in case. I'm going to uh, scrub it out a little bit. And now I'm going to change my um, the way I can view uh, this creative text. Okay. Um, now, you can mess around with all these uh, numbers here. Um, I not really a math guy, or, so I'm going to do it more manually. I'm going to go up here and choose two views, and then you'll notice you'll have this red uh, framework. That's your, your camera that you're going to be able to change and manipulate. Um, so I'm going to use my middle button on the, on the mouse and scroll it down so I can see a little bit better. And then I'm going to be taking, I can change my Y if I want to, but probably won't do the Y. I'm probably going to do Z. Okay, If I do Z, I can come in closer. And then there's Y. So if you notice, it's kind of like hovering above it, and now I can see more of the creative part um, below it. So 
So go ahead and just um, play around and get to the settings that you want and the camera angle that you want. That's more like the angle I want. So that was under the position. I'm changing the position and the second number. And that's more of what I want to do. I'm going to tilt it a little bit too. And then I'm going to go find my Z so I can zoom in. Just like that. So now if we play it, it like swivels down and it comes up. And then there you go. So basically, um, if this pencil was the creative part or this marker, um, and then this green flipped down, and basically we're changing the camera angle, this stays the same, like the way the text is. It's just we're changing the camera angle and how you look at it. So hopefully that will help you be able to uh, do some really cool uh, text effects.